All right, our next guest. Well, Sunday night proved that you might be able to outsmart the housemates, but not the viewers watching at home when Big Brother's self-appointed insider was uh, shown the door. Here's how the announcement went down. It's time to go, Michael! <laughs> Please welcome Michael! Doing that. As long as there's love. Now, now that's good because I know that uh, Kyle Sanderlands yes. said to you that if you pick a fight with me, you get to be a guest tomorrow morning on his radio program in Sydney as well. Not true. Not, Not true. true. You know I don't lie. So if you, <laughs> so, if you hadn't taken, so if you hadn't taken up the dare, would you have to do it for two days? I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't give me that. Now, how's it been for you, OK? Because um, uh, probably the most controversial evictee in recent times anyway. Well, well, how, have you... You, how have you found the public uh, reaction has been to you since you got out? Well, I haven't really experienced any of the public reaction. I've only been doing... I've been sequestered in a hotel room for the last three days, so I haven't experienced any, anything. Um, the most thing I experienced was last night on... Um, when we were doing live nominations, that's the only really time I've actually seen an audience or anything. So, and that was and quite what interesting. What happened there? What on earth went? That was like watching a volcano erupt. Yeah, that, that was, was quite fascinating. interesting. Fascinating. That was quite interesting. Yeah. Don't you think? How yeah. was it from your perspective? I don't know. I, I, but I'd actually like to ask you a question. What, what do you actually think of Gretel? What do I think of Gretel? What do you think of Gretel? I get along with Gretel very well. I don't have a problem with Gretel. I've never had Gretel yell at me. <laughs> so I must be doing something right. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I don't know what I was doing. I think Gretel's great at the same time. I prefer what she does, but I think personally, like someone like Mikey G or Fryzy, be a much better host. So. Yeah. 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 But, would, but would they dress as well? I don't know. But I guess that kind so of. So what gets... was going through your mind at the time? At, at the time, I was surprised you, there, was this, there was such an attack. So I, I, I didn't expect it. I actually went on there to have a bit of fun, joke around, and I guess I hit a, a raw nerve and um, she didn't like that. So, you know. And, and of your time in the house, did you... Uh, because when you came out, you said that you, you didn't care about what the general public thought of you, mm. correct? No, I, I'm, I'm, I, can't, I can't worry about what the general public worry, like, could say about me. Like, I'm only concerned about what my friends and family actually think of me. And I'm, as long as I'm secure with that, I can't worry about anything else. So. But in some respects, as someone who's gone in to win the money, wouldn't you care to a certain extent what the people at home must be thinking? Because they decide whether you stay or go. Yeah, we, we, you always try and think of that, but we, we have no way of knowing what's actually going on the outside. So I can't worry about that in, in, in regards to inside the house. So there was no, there's nothing I could do about that. So then, did it, did it change your perception when you were up for nomination that then everyone voted you out like that? Did the first thing you think is, oh God, what have I done? No. <laughs> Don't do that, you're not The Rock. <laughs> and you're not uh, as funny as Peter Hellier. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will accept that, though. <laughs> That's fine. So, uh, the whole, the whole self-appointed insider thing, Oh, what, yeah. In, the, in that, uh, well, I guess you didn't call yourself the insider, but you decided to, to stir mm. things up a bit. Yeah. So do you look back at that now as, as maybe not a good decision? No, not at all. Do you not think that was part of the reason you were maybe voted out? I have no idea why I was voted out. I mean, I, I can try and guess, gauge something, but I haven't seen anything. So, you know, like I said, I've been sequestered away. I, I really have no idea why I've been voted out. Um, you know, probably because I was an idiot in there a lot of the time. Um, but I, I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Why do you think I was voted out? Probably because you're an idiot. <laughs> Oh, that was easy. Um, I think, can I be honest? I no. don't think you were yourself in there. No, I, I wasn't myself because I was given the role from the beginning, so I wasn't given an opportunity to be myself. But, you know, I played a character in the house and I played it up. And um, it didn't work for me. And in the end, I'm sitting here and I, I, I would rather be in there. So I'd much rather be in the house but, 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 than here with you. But then Big Brother took the insider role off you and then you just went, well, I'm still going to... Uh, instead of, thank goodness, that pressure's been taken off me, and especially after all the backlash from the housemates, instead of going, OK, well, now I can be the real me and show you and the people at home who is the real me, you just ended up, again, still, still putting on this facade. No, because I don't think people realise how ostracised I actually became in the house, and, I, and basically I left it till... They, they came out on the Tuesday. The first opportunity they had to get rid of me was in live nom like when they nominated. On the Monday, I was up for nomination straight away, so that I, didn't, I didn't get a fair shot. So they, people didn't really see, like, I was kind of on the 
me out in, uh, in, inside the house because so many people were upset at what I actually did. So the only thing that I could do was actually make them um, think of the game and start getting paranoid and pointing the finger at other people to take the emphasis of what I had done. And so that's why I started doing what I did. And I think it was starting to work in, in regards to in the house because by the end of the week, people started pointing their finger at everybody else and saying, you know, this person could be, you know, a mole, this person, you know, this person stole the toothbrushes. So it, it was working for me well. So the emphasis was off me and the bad things that I was doing in the house. So then when you first uh, were able to be voted out of the house, because you did have immunity from Big Brother mm. for a while, so when you first had the chance to be voted out and were voted out, did it make you think you weren't as smart as you think you were? No, because I can't, I can't control what actually happened. That, that has nothing to do with well, the intelligence. Well, you can when you're in there purposely trying to do stuff to, to orchestrate all these different events. I can control what happens in the house. I can't control what happens outside of the house. That's the Australian public. Like, you can't control if the Australian public likes your show or hates your show. Like, you, you can't control that. I can't, con I, I can't control people like me or hate me. All, all I can do is do my best in regards to inside the house. I had no idea what was going on in the outside. So. But you were... Uh, constantly thinking about what was going on on the outside, though. Yeah, I was, try I was trying to make a guess. I have no idea. So there's there nothing I could do about it. Because were you uh, thinking of how you were being perceived at the time? Because I know when the intruders came in, mm. you, when you were talking to, to David outside, I remember there was... You were very mindful of who most of the intruders were gravitating towards and that, well, that must mean they're very popular on the outside. Mm. And you at the time thought that you were the villain. Correct. Um, I, because I, no one was hanging out with you. No, I actually avoided. I actually avoided some of the intruders for a while. So I was trying. At that stage, I was trying to repair my relationships because of the role of the insider. So yeah. And what has? What about this whole uh, deal with David? I mean, obviously, the, the, the kiss that never happened, mm. quite obvious it never happened, but mm. what, was, what was going on? What was the whole idea, not just with that moment, but there was a lot of moments where you were, whether it be perceived as flirting or whether it was just a bit of fun for the cameras, but what was your intention with all of that? It was, it was absolutely a joke, and, um, you know, we just played around. I don't think people realise how much downtime we have in that house. Nothing really happens, you know what I mean? And that's Big Brother's big, t like, tool. That, that's why we do stupid stuff. And basically, throughout the, um, throughout the time in the house, Dave and I would try and make people feel uncomfortable, and we would play around like that. And so what happened was there was some, you know, there was some editing, and you saw just a small fraction of actually what happened. So, actually, there was much worse things than oh, that. But I've so. seen, I saw the start of it and the end of it as well as what yeah. happened in the middle. And yeah. what they ended up showing Bef uh, last night during nominations, there was actually a, a, a greater proportion beforehand mm. where it actually looked, actually made it look a bit more suspect than what they showed on air. Okay. And not just in that you were planning something, <laughs> that it was all for cameras. And again, no, I just we kind of just, think we, we were just basically we were role playing. You know, um, we were just we were basically role playing with each other. So yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> work, but good for you. Uh, OK, now it's time for our uh, uh, Big Brother. Now, you don't know this, but we... I mean, obviously, they've had the sound wave deciphering stuff and turning it into lies or not lies on Big Brother. Mm -hmm. We have a far more accurate way of me measuring. <laughs> it's the Rove Live Big Brother Lighter Detector. Detector machine, bring it down, please. <laughs> Put it on, here we go. <laughs> here we go. All set? Absolutely. OK. All right. Simple yes or no answer. Is it possible for you to give a simple yes or no answer? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Correct. There we go. Do you think you could take Gretel in a fight? <laughs> no. <laughs> We could also find out. Gretel's backstage. Let's bring out Gretel. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. A funny oh, you've got to unplug it. You can't just leap it off like that. The brain waves, it could be catastrophic. Do you actually have a son called Reuben? Yes. <laughs> no, uh, but you are nominated for Hypothetical Father of the Year. Congratulations. <laughs> you have such white teeth. Is it because you use every toothbrush you steal? <laughs> We're on to you. Uh, and even after all that's been said, didn't you a teeny weeny, incy wincy, tiny whiny little bit actually want to kiss David? Yes. <laughs> the machine does not lie. Michael from Big Brother. There you go.